Okay, so an Orange Beach charter boat captain and his crew have quite the story and it's going to be hard to beat. Now you got to listen. They were on the final day of a three day charter far out in the Gulf when they got the bite of a lifetime. Well, I'll say seven hours later, they were heading back to Orange Beach Marina with a monster bluefin tuna. Fox News Ball and County reporter Hal Sherrick caught up with Captain Johnny Green and his crew to hear their fish tale. It was April 21st and the fishing hadn't been great. Captain Johnny Green on the Intimidator had a group of anglers from Georgia on board and was making the best of the last day on the water. It was a little bit slow that day during the day, but as the evening uh, came on, the fish started coming up and the birds were flying and things were happening. And uh, about 6.30, we had a, a really big bite. The fish had hit a live hardtail in several thousand feet of water. Green has decades of fishing experience in the Gulf of Mexico and thought they'd hooked a big blue marlin. The fish stayed on top initially and Green backed down on it for a couple miles. We got within probably 100 yards of the fish and I could tell it was a pretty good one and at that point uh, the fish sounded and headed down to the bottom and uh, knowing that we just had a Shimano 50 wide for tackling and we were in 8,000 feet of water and I don't have 8,000 feet of line, it was mighty concerning. To this point, no one had seen the fish, but by now, Green was sure it wasn't a marlin. About four hours into the fight, it became apparent the fish had expired, and the most difficult phase of the battle began. Cranking a 600-plus pound dead fish up on 80-pound test line. The key to success was to get the fish coming and don't stop cranking. This is it. This is the one that caught the fish. We obviously had to replace the Andy monofilament fishing line when we got done with it, but this is the setup we were using. It's just a regular Shimano Tiagra 50 wide. Kathy Cruz at the rod room built the rod, and uh, those ladies are just amazing rod builders. They do a great job. Six hours later, the fish was beside the boat, and everyone could breathe a sigh of relief. Another hour of pulling, hoisting, and bent gaffs later, I mean, you can even see how much is bent right there. And the fish was on board and headed to port. I mean, to catch a fish like that, everything has to go right. There, there's a million ways it can go wrong, and fortunately, everything went right, and the mates were right on top of things and did a good job. As a bonus tip, everyone, including the mates, got to take a little home for the grill. Get the grill hot, sear it on both sides. They used some cilantro lime seasoning and squeezed the lime over the top of it, and it was, it was just wonderful. It was cold on the middle sill. Just, it was wonderful. I'll bet that was good, and what a fish tale to tell. Now, Captain Green did have to call and notify National Marine Fisheries on the way in that he had a bluefin tuna on board. There is a quota in the Gulf of Mexico for incidental catches of this kind made for just this kind of situation. Now, as of tonight, that quota for the Gulf of Mexico has expired. Live in Orange Beach, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.